Here's the third example. We have x plus y equals 30, 3x minus 3y equals 9. I'm going to work with the y's again, like I have in the previous two examples. But how do I make positive 2 and negative 3 equal and opposite? I can't just multiply one of these equations by a single whole number and make it equal to an opposite to the other equation in the y's. I would have to use a fraction, and I'd rather avoid using a fraction. What I will do is very similar to the situation of having to add or subtract fractions and find a common denominator. When we do that, if the denominator of one fraction is a 2 and the denominator of the other is a 3, we look for the lowest common multiple. We'll do the same thing here. The lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So what we'll do is we will try to turn these equations into two equivalent equations that have plus 6y and minus 6y. The way to turn plus 2 into 6 is to multiply it by 3. And that gives us 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2y is plus 6y, and 3 times 30 is 90. The way to turn negative 3 into 6 is multiply it. That gives us 3 times 2 is 6x, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6y, and 9 times 2 is 18. We have the equal and opposite situation, so we can do our elimination through addition. 3x plus 6x is 9x. 6y plus negative 6y cancels. And 9e plus 18 is 108. If we divide both sides by 9, these cancel, and x is equal to 108 divided by 9, which is 12. Now, to find our y, we'll plug x equals 12 into either of the original equations. I'm going to use equation 1. x plus 2y equals 30. If x equals 12, 12 plus 2y equals 30. 2y equals 30 minus 12. 2y equals 18. If we divide both sides by 2, our y is isolated, and it's equal to 9. So the answer to the system of equations, the solution, the point where these two lines would cross if we were to graph them, is going to be 12, 9. When we're going elimination through addition, even if we have to multiply both equations by two different numbers, we can create this equal and opposite situation, and we can continue on with our method. In all three of my examples so far, I have been making the y's equal and opposite and eliminating the y's. But will I get the same answer if I try to make the x's equal and opposite instead? Let's do the previous example over again, but this time we'll work with the x's. We have x plus 2y equals 30, and 3x minus 3y equals 9. In order to make x equal and opposite, the easiest thing I can think of to do is to multiply the top equation by negative 3. That will result in negative 3x right here. That means I'll be multiplying the second equation by 1. If I multiply the top equation by negative 3, I get negative 3x minus 6y equals negative 90. The second equation stays the same, 3x minus 3y equals 9. Now, when I do my elimination through addition, with these two equations, 3x plus negative 3x cancels. Negative 6y plus negative 3y is negative 9y, and negative 90 plus 9 is negative 81. If I isolate this y, by dividing both sides by negative 9, these cancel. My y is isolated, and negative 81 divided by negative 9 is positive 9. Now we're going to plug y equals positive 9 into one of the original equations and see what we get for our x. I'll use equation 1. 
x plus 2y equals 30. If y is 9, x plus 2 times 9 equals 30. x plus 18 equals 30. x equals 30 minus 18. x is therefore equal to 12. The point of intersection of this system of equations is going to be 12, 9, which is the same answer that we got when we did the same example, eliminating the y's. So now we know it doesn't matter whether you eliminate the x's or eliminate the y's when you do elimination. Either way, you should get the same answer.